Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. Uh, this is Kevin Miller, voice of Sly Cooper, with our next uh, unidirectional video chat. This is number four in our series. And I want to talk all about Murray, everybody's favorite pink hippo, the brawn of the Cooper gang, the Murray, as uh, Chris Murphy would say. Um, the, right now on the I Want Sly Cooper in his own animated series Facebook page. It is Murray Mayhem Month, and my wonderful team of admins have uh, requested that you would put something Murray fantastic up on the page there. Um, it can be a sketch, it can be a claymation video, it can be you doing your best impression. The Murray! The, consider this my entry. At Thunderflop! You know that guy. And uh, they uh, every month we elect a uh, first, second, and third prize winner for our different entries. And for May, it's Murray Mayhem Month, because May is in the word mayhem. Uh, Astrid5764, or as I like to call him, 5764. Seriously, why don't you put your name so I know what your name is? I had a great question on the YouTubes and asked, uh, how did Murray from Sly 1, Thieves, or Thievius Raccoonus, become the Murray in uh, Sly 2, Band of Thieves? And that is a fantastic question. As you all know, when uh, Sly moved from being a single-player obstacle course game into an open-world sandbox-ish mission game, um, they broke up the, the gameplay into three different playable characters, which of course is our gang. Uh, Sly, Bentley, and Murray. And um, obviously, Bentley was going to be the techno genius, and uh, uh, Sly continued to be the thief, but uh, Murray needed to be the brawn and not just the getaway driver. Uh, now, your, your initial question, Astrid 5764, was how did he become the Murray? I don't know. But I do love that he needed to don the identity of the Murray. If you notice, between Sly 1 and Sly 2, in Sly 1, there is no the Murray. He's just Murray. And he's cowardly. And I think somewhere between Sly 1 and Sly 2, after the mission of, of taking down Clockwork, Bentley and Sly sat down with Murray and said, Okay, buddy. We need to take. We need you to go out into the field, and he's like, "I don't, I don't know if I can do it, Sly." Because remember, he was really cowardly, and they're like, I, "We believe in you. You're, you're the guy. You're Murray." And he's like, "Yes, I'm the Murray," and and he becomes this like superhero. And I remember chatting with Nate Fox, one of the developers at, at Sucker Punch, about this very thing, and he said, "Yeah, we we needed Murray to transition from being." just the getaway driver to being this brawn hulking dude and in order to pay respects to who he was in the first game we decided that he he holds on to this mystique so uh, underneath it all I think he's still just a cowardly guy and somewhere in there he learned how to become the Murray most likely through um, a training mission of his own much like in the wonderful montage level that we saw in Thieves in Time so great question Astrid 5764 Terrible name. Your parents hate you. What's up with that? We have one daughter named Margaret, a son named Jim. What should we name our third child? I know. Astrid 5764. It's got such a great ring to it. All right, keep sending me your questions at show at gamerlandpodcast.com. Like the page on Facebook. Listen to Gamerland Podcast. The hysterical antics of Justin Warsham and I are just a click away into your earbuds. Uh, thanks for watching and okay, bye.